Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to ingest local files into your um, Custo DB or KQL database that you've created in uh, Microsoft Fabric. So this is again one of our videos in our, our Microsoft Fabric playlist. Uh, so please do subscribe and check out that playlist. We'll have a lot of videos coming out with the topics getting more and more advanced and the scenarios getting more and more complex. Um, so please do subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss out when we upload a video. So now coming to our demo. In our last video, I'll link to that in the top right hand corner of your screen. We created a KQL database. And now for the purposes of this video, I want to show you how you can uh, upload files from your local system into the KQL database, right? So very simple, just hit that get data, hit local file, choose the table name. So for this, I'm going to do go with the CSV file as a new table. So sample CSV and then you just have that browse for files here. And then I'm going to hit this sample CSV dot CSV and open. So as you can see, it's read the schema. I mean, it's uh, located the file. Now it's reading the schema and it's set um, the data type which it thinks would work best. You can change data type. You can do some basic sorting, uh, deletion of columns and things like that and we hit next and then it begins ingestion and copying so that looks good it looks like we've got all that data in there so now when we hit refresh you should see a new table in your kql database called sample csv and just to check our data we can do sample underscore csv and it take 10 so it's on this yeah, that looks good. So as you can see, we've got that in there. So now, suppose you wanted to in install a JSON file, same way. Again, it's red. Uh, the format perfectly and as you can see it's got that uh, ignore data format errors because sometimes um, JSON has this uh, property where it's sort of semi-structured rather than fully structured so for those scenarios you have that option available to you and again that ingestion looks good and finally we can show you um, parquet files so I call this sample let's go rk you can go ahead with that hit close and when we refresh we can see we've got the three tables here and all of these tables have their data in there and you can check your data in here using KQL which again I'm going to be releasing a playlist on uh, so stay tuned and subscribe for that once again thank you guys for watching this video um, don't forget to like share subscribe comment and hit that bell icon and we'll see you guys in the next one